Austin Reeves, my boy, my boy, you deserve your flowers. You deserve your flowers. That's all I'm going to say. You dropped 35 last night. Now, this was going to be an uncut opinions, but you changed that. You changed that single-handedly. You did that. AR-15. I know you don't want to be called that, but you're going to be called that by me because you was lighting Crypto.com Arena up last night. What is good, everybody? It's your boy, TB. I am back with another Uncut Opinions or the Austin Reeves Appreciation video. My boy dropped a career-high 35 points last night as we beat the Orlando Magic. Now, I'm not going to celebrate that win because we're supposed to win that game. Matter of fact, we're supposed to win the last two games that we have lost. We've lost to Houston, which was a ridiculous game, and we lost to Dallas. Ridiculous game. Oh, let me not forget, we lost to Dallas on a buzzer beater because AD not only missed end of game free throws, but he left his man wide open for the three. So AD, we're not talking about you this video. I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry. This night you had 15 points, 11 rebounds, and four blocks. Proud of you. You were the great role player to Austin Reeves. You know, bravo. You did what you needed to do to help. Yeah, you did what you had to do. Austin Reeves, my boy. You are coming into your own, young man. You are starting to build a bag and develop a bag. I noticed and I've watched interviews of Austin Reeves. And he talked about how he has been watching James Harden and paying attention to how he uses the defense's aggression against them and uses that physicality against them to draw fouls. And I'm not going to lie, after I watched that interview and I heard him say that, I actually looked for more Harden-esque ways to get to the free throw line, things of that nature. And if you watched last night, Austin Reeves put that on full display at the highest level at well, sorry, let me not say highest level at his highest level because there are steps to it still. I'm not going to be disingenuous and I'm not going to act like Austin Reeves is the next coming, the next Alex Caruso. The, I'm not going to do that. Austin Reeves plays his role amazingly. He plays the right way. He does all the little things. He makes the cuts. He makes the right pass. He takes a shot when he needs to take the shot. And he does the things that you need for the Lakers for them to win ball games like they won last night. When you have a guy like AD scoring 15 points, which that shouldn't be happening. You shouldn't be second fiddle to Austin Reeves, who I might add came off the bench and did that. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. To me, it's more cause of concern that AD is having some mental lapses a lot more than we've seen in the stretches where he played extremely, extremely well. And I don't really like that going into the last three weeks of the season. We play Phoenix on the 22nd, which is two days from now. We're fifth in the Pacific. We're 35 and 37. We had a chance. It was in our hands to become 500. We dropped two games to the Rockets and Mavericks. We dropped the first game to put us back below 500 to the Knicks in the first place. But losing those two games against the Rockets and Mavericks that put us back down two games in it, it sucks as a Lakers fan. And I was starting to get a little bit more optimistic. And this team is still pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's at that point where we're ready to just say we're not going to win a chip this year. And we're probably not contending this year. Second round is more than likely our ceiling right now. So gear up, play a little playoff basketball, I guess. And then just gear up for next season, off season, figure out what we're going to do. The most interesting part to me is who are the Lakers going to decide to bring back? I'm going to be honest. I haven't trusted them too, too much in the last couple off seasons since we won the bubble ring and we let a lot of those guys go. I don't trust them, but you know, hopefully they see the light at the end of the tunnel the way we do. The Lakers finally have the one thing that they haven't had in years. And that is a young core with versatile players that can do some of everything. And we haven't had that in a very long time. So I'm hoping the Lakers do retain some of these players. D'Lo, Austin Reeves, Jared Vanderbilt, even Rory Hachimura. I, I really hope that they bring them back. I'm holding on to hope because, again, I don't trust the front office. But Austin Reeves, to me, has really shown that he's coming into his own. And he should honestly be one of the first guys to be signed. Now, What's hilarious is while I was watching the game over earlier today, I saw a report come out and it said Austin Reeves is probably looking for a four year, $20 million deal. Now, that's not a bad deal, honestly. He would be making somewhere around $6 million a year, which right now, that's what Rui Hachimura is making. So I, I could see Austin Reeves around that number reasonably, but hopefully the Lakers retain him. That's, that's the first step. 
I'm going to try to find that interview where Austin Reeves was talking about James Harden and how he's watched him a lot more. But like I said, this is the first game where, you know, I've seen bits and pieces of the Harden-esque play. I've seen a lot of Austin Reeves rip-throughs where he draws a foul. I've seen a lot of plays where Austin Reeves will drop his shoulder real quick into you and fall back getting the foul. And last night, we saw that in full display. He actually went to the free throw line 18 times, and he went 16 for 18, which is amazing. And honestly... If you're Austin Reeves, that could be a way to make your money do what you need to do in this league because that 35 came off of 9 for 14 shooting from the field, which majority of those shots were high percentage, either mid-range or at the basket shots. And then the rest were free throws. If you could do that comfortably off the bench, you're going to have a job for a pretty long time. I'm not going to lie to you. And the fact that he's watching and being an active studier of the game, that that's all the more reason to sign him. He's a student of the the game these wins matter to him I can see it in his face when he's playing it matters whether we win or lose it matters if we're going to the postseason it matters if he's doing his job and contributing to this team there's some guys on this team where I can't say that same thing I can't say that with enough confidence to where I would be willing to bet that with Austin Reeves I'm willing to bet that I'll be completely honest sometimes I'm not sure about Braun the only time I've been sure about Braun really caring was the other night when he got into AD the camera like panned to him he was yelling at AD about something I'm not quite sure what it was however that was probably one of the few times where I actually saw Braun engaged to the point where I'm like this really really matters Austin Reeves I've never had to question in it and I've appreciated him as a Laker for that but I also appreciate him for working he's putting in the work and it's showing right now that boy got a fresh fade and he don't know how to act i'm gonna need him to keep doing that on a nightly basis i don't know if he gonna get 30 minutes a night he probably should but regardless of all that austin reeves this video is for you you did your thing i'm a lakers fan so i gotta make a video on austin reeves even if it's not deserved and a video is more deserved for some other players austin reeves hey do your thing white boy that's all i got for you guys in this one this is another uncut opinions let me know if you guys actually like this series because i'm thinking about cutting it i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm thinking about kind of steering away from being more lakers oriented and just being basketball content as a whole let me know what you guys think about that i like to cover some of the smaller market teams more anyway there's a lot more character with those teams i'm not gonna lie to you but that's all I got for you guys in this one. Until next time, it's your boy TB with the greatest hoop stories and debates on the tube. And as always, I am out. Peace.